when the 2014 cases came around, the questions started coming again. Ray screws. How come Hot Wheels changes the names on the cars? Right here you can see ice cream truck for the US version and internationally they put sweet treats on the package. Now why would they do that? You know we've talked to some Mattel people at conventions and generally we're told that for some reason you know we they had to change the name for a different region. Maybe sweet streets is you know maybe they don't have ice cream trucks in you know other countries. I don't I don't know I don't live there but it's just speculation Mattel generally has said they just sometimes have to change the names of the vehicles for different reasons. Other reasons are maybe they want to keep the name. See, it has a little trademark right there. Maybe they want to keep that trademark to use on a vehicle so they have to keep reusing. See, ice cream truck is generic. Maybe they want to keep that name so that nobody else uses it. So they reuse the name every once in a while so that uh, they get to keep the name. I, I don't know about that legal stuff. I wish I could give you links to show you definitively why does Mattel change the names. Uh, we don't know. We can only, they'll just kind of maybe sometimes talk off the record. Now here you have a couple 2012 releases. You have the Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. What a name. But then the other one just says 12 Lamborghini Aventador. They were the same. Look, 2012 new models. They were in the same new year, right? New models, same year, two different names. Now, more than likely, the licensor said, well, we want you to put this name for that car instead of that name. Uh, you know, Mattel can't talk about that generally because if the licensor did say we want you to call it this, they, they, Mattel's not going to embarrass the Lamborghini company by saying, oh, yeah, they told us to change it. So on one hand, Mattel kind of can't really say. But as you can tell, you're looking at both cars, the same exact model, same exact casting, same tooling. So sometimes the, and both, by the way, these are both USA cards. Look on the back. This one was from a G case. This one from a C case. There's no red lettering showing like it would be from an international package. See, international packaging, they have this right here so it looks different. And look, here's the Sweet Streets. It has the uh, red letters, and it looks different on the back of the package. So we know that the name was changed on these two, uh, on international compared to English uh, cards, USA cards. This one here, international. This one here, USA card. So you have the same model, came out in the same month, but for whatever reason, international, they called it the 64 Chevy Nova. In USA, we get the station wagon at the end. Maybe it wasn't. I don't even think this would have been sold. I don't know. I don't even know if this thing would be sold internationally. Uh, I'm sure my international viewers would let me know if the Nova station wagon was sold worldwide or is just a USA vehicle, the real one. That's what I'm talking about. Now, so sometimes the names are changed. We don't know why. Now, right here, why do I have this accelerators? Uh, here we have... Reverb. Now Reverb. Here's Reverb when he was in Accelerators. But there was Battle Force 5. They had a Reverb and he didn't look like this. He didn't look nothing like this. So sometimes they use the name for do two different vehicles. Not only that, Reverb was from Team Teku. Well, there was a Swamp Buggy. His name was Swamp Buggy in the USA. But internationally, they called him Teku. It was right on the card. You know, and I'm assuming it's the same thing with street, Sweet Streets. They want to keep the name alive so that it's their name and they recopyright it. That's what I, I assume. I don't work for Mattel. I don't know. Right here, this is one of my favorite renaming vehicles here. I'm sure you guys recognize this casting. Here's the first edition model. You got the dairy delivery. Got milk, got milk, same vehicle. By the way, you see the uh, blue car right there? The 1998, so sometimes you'll see them with the blue cars. That's only because halfway through the year, Mattel changed the car from red to blue. So that's all it means. It's not like these were chase pieces because they had the red package. Uh, no, halfway, maybe not even halfway. Mattel changed it from red to blue for the car. Uh, some cars wound up with a lot of them with the red car, and some wound up with the Harlini. But I, I don't keep track of that. I'm only talking about this right now because you have the dairy delivery and here you have a couple versions of the dairy delivery. Well the only thing is, uh, this is why I like this one, look, 
Moomobile. And the other one? Steel Passion. Uh, my recollection is that this one was Canada, Moomobile. And this Steel Passion, I think I got this one from Mexico. But maybe they were both, re maybe this was released worldwide as Moomobile. Maybe this was released worldwide as Steel Passion. And it wasn't just the Mexico. Uh, I'm not sure. I, that's just what I remember when it got this long time ago. This is 1998, okay? We're talking 16 years ago. I don't, I can't remember everything all the time. If you want to see another cool night, I picked this one out to show the blue card. This uh, Escort Rally was one of my favorite pieces from that year. It wasn't very popular. It hung around on the pegs for a long time. But let's go ahead and talk about one last car, Arrow Flash. Here's a sample of the Arrow Flash. Now the Arrow Flash, uh, it's had three names too. Let me show you some pictures I borrowed from the web. In the 70s, Aero Flash was pretty much called Large Charge. It's the same casting. In the 80s, kind of became known as Silver Bullet. And then uh, 90s kind of changed to Aero Flash. But on that note, uh, you'll see they'll release this model here. Sometimes they'll call it large charge Still sometimes they'll call it silver bullet. So it's almost as if they uh, Bring back that name just to make sure they can keep using that name and some other toy company doesn't take it uh, I don't know. It's part of the industry stuff. I, I don't know. I'm not an insider. Aero Flash is a cool car Most of the time you'll see it as Aero Flash nowadays. Now it does get uh, confusing when they put uh, several names for one car but it's not very often that you wind up getting uh, one name being used for multiple cars except for like I showed you Reverb Reverb did appear uh, in the Battle Force 5 line with a different car and it was called Reverb and then one last example is you have this is uh, the motorcycles line you have Blastus with that kind of a bike. And then here you have Blastus, which used to be called Blastus Moto, but now they just call it Blastus. I don't know why. So now you got two different bikes. Look, one's a trike. It's got two wheels in the back. One, this one has one. You got the same name, but uh, two different bikes. Now this part could get confusing. Hopefully they'll just uh, keep it between these two. Another, oh my. That's it. No, no more. I can't answer it. I don't know what they're doing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.